explored the trends and the data collected, it should become apparent that the further into the future we go, the less the process becomes about probabilities and the more about predictions. Predictions between possible future states. And predicting possible futures based on current trends is called forecasting. Now this can, however, be a multi-stage process. And we can use the tool of futures wheels to structure this process. Starting in the middle with the trend or event associated with their problem, students surround this with possible outcomes that are the result of this trend continuing. And then, on the basis of these outcomes, what else may happen if the trend further continues, building out consequences of these trends in concentric circles? With the futures wheel developed, it should then be possible to look around the circumference and indicate which of these futures outcomes we would most like to see occur, which are the ones we would least like to see occur, and the ones that we think might be most likely to occur. This provides a useful context in which to engage students in discussion of the possible consequences and the sustainability of the solutions that they are developing for their X problems. And the need to think far into the future from various perspectives to ensure that their solutions do not contribute to even bigger problems in the future. Forecasting as an approach is most useful in developing solutions to the challenges that we already know how to solve, but which we haven't looked at the trends involved in order to bring them about. But where that is the case, it provides an effective tool for engaging students in a process of developing solutions based on existing trends.